Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have discussed about the topics like free fall and exhaustion due to gravity. In this video, we will discuss new topic that is motion of an object under the influence of gravitational force of the earth. Then we discuss about modified equation for motion under exhaustion due to gravity. And the last topic for the video is to discuss about mass and weight. Now let us discuss about the first topic and the topic is motion of an object under the influence of gravitational force of the earth. In order to understand this topic, let us discuss about one activity. So here we consider two objects, a small stone and a feather of bird. They are placed at the same height from the ground. Now, we allow the stone and the feather to fall freely and observe the motion of the two objects. Will the two bodies reach the ground at the same time? Let us see. What we observe is the feather and the stone will not reach the ground at the same time. The feather will reach little time later. Now the question is why is it so? The reason is it is due to air resistance. Air resistance means the force which opposes the motion of an object when the object passes through the air. In this case, the air resistance on the feather is more than the air resistance on the stone. So due to this reason, the stone will reach earlier and the feather will reach little time later than the stone. Now the people thought about what will happen if there is no air. Let us see another activity. A glass jar was taken and inside it same stone and the feather was inserted. So here is the stone and the feather. From one end of the glass jar, here all the air from the jar was pumped out. So all the air that is inside the jar was taken out by a pump from one end of the jar. So there is no air inside it and the vacuum was created inside the jar. Actually vacuum means empty space. Nothing is there. Then this stone and the feather was allowed to fall freely from the same height. Now let us see what will happen. So in this case, both the stone and the feather will reach the bottom of container or the glass jar at the same time if they are allowed to fall from the same height. The stone and the feather will reach the bottom at the same time because there is no air resistance. From the above activity, what we came to know is in the presence of air, if the stone and the feather is allowed to fall from the same height, then the stone will reach little bit earlier than the feather. But if the same stone and the feather is allowed to fall from the same height where there is no air, then the stone and the feather will reach the ground or the bottom of the jar at the same time. So this is all about the activity. Now let us discuss about the equation of motion. We have already studied in the chapter motion. There are three equations of motion. The first equation is V equals to U plus AT. Second equation is S equals to UT plus half AT square. And the third equation is V square equals to U square plus 2AS. So here, V is the final velocity, U the inertial velocity, as represents the distance traveled, T the time taken, a linear acceleration. The same equation of motion is valid if the body falls freely under the action of gravitational force. Only the thing is we have to modify this equation slightly. The modified equation for the motion under acceleration due to gravity will be here. The first equation we have to replace this linear acceleration by gravitational acceleration. So, V equals to U plus GT. 
then in second equation here a will be replaced by x zero and due to gravity small g and it will be s equals to ut plus half gt square and here also in the third equation this a will be replaced by small g and it will be b square equals to u square plus 2 g s the two set of equation look similar the only difference there is in the linear motion we consider linear acceleration represented by a but in free fall we replace the acceleration by acceleration due to gravity small g the value of this acceleration due to gravity small g normally taken as 9.8 meter per second and this exertion due to gravity is a vector quantity so it may be positive negative or sometimes zero also the value of g is to be taken positive if the object is falling towards the earth's surface or falling down the same value of g will be taken negative if the object is thrown upward so these are the things to be kept in mind. Now let us discuss about mass and weight. This mass and weight, they are totally different from one another. Let me explain you the meaning of mass and weight in a tabular form. So in the left hand side will be the details related to mass and in the right hand side will be the details related to weight. The first thing that we must know about the mass is its definition. Mass is the measure of amount of matter in an object. So mass is actually the matter that is contained in an object. But the weight means the force exerted on a body by gravity. So this weight comes into existence only if there is a gravitational force. So the formula for the weight is mass into gravitational acceleration. So if we multiply mass with gravitational acceleration, then it will be weight. Second point is mass of an object is same everywhere. It is constant, but weight varies according to the value of g. So this g means uh, acceleration due to gravity. So from the formula of weight, so this mass is constant. It is same everywhere. The only thing that will vary here is gravitational acceleration depending upon the value of gravitational acceleration the weight of an object will vary so weight is not same everywhere the third point is mass can never be zero so it is always positive quantity and greater than zero but the weight can be zero how again see the formula of weight so if the gravitational acceleration is zero then the weight of the object will be zero the fourth point is the si unit of mass is kg but the si unit of weight is neutron so this neutron is also the si unit of force so this is all about mass and weight now let us discuss about the weight of an object on the moon whether it will be same or it will change as i have already told you that weight of an object depends on gravitational acceleration and it is not same everywhere the gravitational acceleration on the surface of the earth and the gravitational acceleration on the surface of the moon is not same because of their mass which we have already studied so let us denote the gravitational acceleration on the earth by GE and the gravitational acceleration on the moon by GM. Because of the greater mass of the earth, the gravitational acceleration of the earth is six times greater than that on the moon. Or in other words, we can write gravitational acceleration on the moon is one by six times the gravitational acceleration on the earth. Just because of this fact that the gravitational acceleration on the moon is 1 by 6 times the gravitational acceleration on the earth, the weight of an object on the moon will be 
1 by 6 time its weight on the earth. So if the weight of an object is 60 Newton on the surface of the earth, then the weight of the object on the surface of the moon will be 10 Newton because 60 divided by 6 is 10. So in this way the weight of an object will be lesser on the moon than the weight of the object on the surface of the earth.